Hello everybody, it's the Lit Optimist, and today I'm talking about Crouch In. Another Stephen King short story. Police constables Ted Vedder and Robert Farnham are working the night shift at their police station in the London suburb of Crouch End, discussing the peculiar missing persons case followed by one Doris Freeman. Her husband Lonnie and she were lost when suddenly the world before them completely changed. Lonnie loses his mind, gets eaten by some otherworldly being, and she eventually wakes up in the real world. Farnham, a youngster, doesn't believe a word of it and thinks she's mad, but Vetter's been around for a while and isn't so sure. He goes for a walk to figure things out, and Farnham follows not too long afterward to see where he went, only to get lost in that other world as well. Vetter returns, finds that Farnham's gone, goes on to reach retirement age, and dies six months afterwards. Doris goes home with her and Lonnie's children and tries to commit suicide, but learns to cope with his disappearance. And Crouch Inn keeps being creepy as fuck. It's a great story, a great short story that I feel really captures London, or at least how it's been portrayed in the media, says an American. Um, thanks go to my cousin, Natalie Titus, for requesting this short story. If you've read, by, by this point, I was like, okay, okay, Stephen, I get it. Like, I've read The Stand, I, I don't know where else you can go. Like, this, this is fine. It's not terrible, but it's like, what, what else do you got? Like... This was, this was fine. It's a good read. It's just like looking at his other work and being like, oh my god, like, where else can he go? Thank you guys for watching. It's a very short review, but um, I'll see you guys next week. I think for another one, another short story by Stephen King. I think. Okay, bye everybody.